Okay, hi everybody. So I'm Steve Miller from Grow Physio and I'm delighted to introduce you to you the Smart Cuffs Pro. These are an amazing blood flow occlusion um, style training kit. So I'm just going to talk you through how we would apply these really, so and what it comprises of. So this is the pack, which is basically where the monitor is. So again, you're gonna when you get this, it is gonna come like this. Everything is really straightforward, really simple to use. You turn it on using the button on this side. You basically then just go on to start exercise. You pick the appropriate upper limb or lower limb component. You just go up or down using these two buttons here. So if we we're gonna use a leg, again, it gives you the option of manual, personal pressure or IPC. Now, for an upper limb, what I would normally do is use about 30 to 50% of um, that limb occlusion pressure. For a lower limb, I'd go for a 50 to maybe 80% um, of that sort of limb occlusion pressure, really. And what does that mean? Well, when your blood flow is occluded completely, this has the amazing feature that it works out when that occlusion takes place. And then you can program the percentage accordingly. So for example, if we put personal pressure on here, it comes up your chosen LOP percentage. So that's just that limb occlusion pressure we talked about and it's currently set to 30%. If I want to increase it, I just press the button on the left-hand side. If I wanna reduce the pressure, I just use the one on the right-hand side. So if we put it as 30, what will happen then, you can see this end, if it is attached to one of the cuffs, like so. So these are the cuffs that you would use. They have a really nice little clip that you would apply to there. And again, what you're going to do is just wrap that around the athlete um, and fixate that accordingly. That is then going to measure that occlusion pressure uh, and then it is going to automatically work out that pressure there. So I'm just going to turn that off. The other way that you can um, sort of manage that is almost do a full 100% occlusion. Now that is something where you aren't going to get the athlete to exercise with these on. Uh, we haven't used that as much at Newcastle Falcons. We've predominantly used it during exercises. So typical example would be if you attach the cuff around the top of the thigh here, put it up to sort of 50% occlusion level, apply it, and then get the athlete to do some knee extensions, do some squats, do some single leg squat, maybe some split squats. You can even get them onto the watt bikes or the, a static bike really and go through a, a, a remit there. Now, the usual way that we would apply it is just the, the traditional way that it was recommended, really. So what we're going to do is do 30 repetitions. So you need to make sure the athlete can do that already. Depending on what that athlete is going to do, that usually equates to about 20% of their one rep max. Now, if you're going to opt for 15 reps, that is normally around a sort of 65% of that one rep max level. So again, it might be that you want to load them up, put a bar across their back, have them on a leg press, do them with a squat, um, and introduce some weights, might be dumbbells that you've got as well. So the usual protocol is 30 repetitions and then 30 to 60 seconds off. Again, depending on what sort of reaction you're getting from the athlete in terms of fatigue levels, you may adjust that accordingly. So you're gonna do a 30 repetition uh, blast. You're then going to do a 30 to 60 second rest. Then you're gonna drop that to 15 repetitions, then have the same rest period, 15 repetitions, same rest period, and then 15 repetitions. Now, it's really important to gauge with this, the amount of fatigue that that athlete is describing. So the first set should be fairly low level in terms of effort. And then progressively that will start to feel really hard. Now it should be really challenging for that athlete um, by the end. So you're sort of looking at about seven to eight out of 10 effort levels really by the end. So there's a good demand going on with that. So you're really fatiguing it. The benefits of it are enormous. So by using something like this, you can start to load the athlete who is maybe sort of post-injury or coming back from something. And again, you can get the benefits of high levels of load but without actually exposing that tissue that's maybe recovering um, during that. So again, a really useful bit of kit. The Smart Cuffs, really highly recommended as an option. Um, these are the ones that we used a lot with our athletes in Prem Rugby. Um, and we got some great benefits and we got players back much, much quicker using stuff like this. Hope you've enjoyed that and I'll catch you all soon.